This is method two on how students can share their documents with you in Google Docs. So this method involves a Dropbox style system. So what you do is you create a new collection, give it a name that's appropriate to uh, what you're doing, let's call it period uh, three AP world, whatever your class is or whatever you want to call it, you hit OK. And so now I have this new collection right here. I'm going to click on this down arrow and it gives me a few options. One of them is share. So I'm going to hit share. And now what I can do is I can add students or other people to this shared collection. So I could, you know, I'm just going to add my personal email account, but you would have to go in and add every student. So if you have 30 students in this class, you would have to go in and add them. But you only have to do this once. So yes, it may take a little time in the first time through, but then you just have to do it once. And I'm going to say can edit, all right, because we want them to be able to put their, their uh, files in here. I'm going to hit share and save. I'm going to say yes to this because it's my personal Gmail account. And now this folder, period three, AP World History, is in my uh, danmcdowell.gmail.com address. So I'm going to switch over to Firefox where I'm logged in. And if you look at what happened today, period three, AP World showed up right there. I'm going to close my collections. Look at collections shared with me, period three, AP World. There's nothing in there right now because I haven't put anything. So let's say I want to share. Uh, let's go with uh, something that's not in that one. How about I'll put in my GCT presentation here. I'm going to go period three AP World. Let's say that's an assignment. If I were to go back, well, let's look right here. So it's there. If I were to go back over into uh, into Chrome and to my Google Apps account, there it is. And I can click on it and I can edit it, make changes, add whatever I want to add to it. Um, and we can you know, do whatever we need to do. The problem with this method is that a student could, could go in and see whatever any other student has done. So, uh, so they could see other kids work, there's the whole issue of plagiarism, there's the issue of kids vandalizing other kids' assignments. Uh, of course, the, as far as that's concerned, you could always see who has made uh, any changes because changes are recorded by a user, so you could see who vandalized someone else's, um, someone else's assignment, but there is there are those issues involved with this. This is a very easy way to just have students drop everything in, but if you were thinking about security, uh, then it may not be the best option for you. All right, there we go.